Ah, excellent. The banjo doing its thing, having plenty of fruits and leaves, and knocking out elephants left and right. Hello everybody, Gray still plays, and we're back with more of Taito Ecology in the Himalayas. And some time has passed, and our plants are looking really good. And this is going to work out much better because, like I had said, <laughs> I only recently decided to start really increasing the plant population before laying down a lot of creatures. And that's obviously what I was supposed to be doing. There was a commenter that mentioned that. And they also mentioned Siri, I think I'm pronouncing that right, maybe it's Siri, the pixel biologist, who is clearly a very, very strong and able Taito Ecology player. So I don't have too much time these days to watch YouTube, unfortunately, because I do so much stuff with it. But I do know that she is certainly very, very skilled. Actually, you know what? Before we keep putting down creatures, let's try and fill in as much plant life as we can. You can see right over here, a lot of plant life has expanded, especially this Himalayan fairy grass. That stuff is going everywhere, and that's perfect. What do we have going on here? Ah, a group of pikas has split. Now, this starving population of pangolins I have already taken care of, so they are handled. So, our pikas are splitting. That is good. Actually, that's probably the first time that I have had a animal split that I know of. I want to keep putting down these wood apples, too, if I can find spots for them, because the wood apples have so many benefits, especially if... We can ever start getting some elephants down. We have one elephant just kind of like lollygagging around over here. I think he's right over... Where is he? Right, Mr. Elephant. I know you're around here somewhere. How can I miss you? You're an elephant. Is this possible? Is my failure at spotting the elephant legendary? It is. I know you guys are like, he's right there! <laughs> and I'm missing him. He's around here somewhere. I swear, he is. It's only one, though. There he is! Yes! I knew you were here somewhere. What do you like? I've seen them eating pomegranate. They certainly like that. I've seen them eating rhododendron. They certainly like that as well. And then, of course, the favorite of elephants everywhere, this wood apple. Although he is clearly interested in something else. Perhaps these honeysuckles. Let's find out. No edible leaves on the honeysuckles. Oh, maybe this banj oak? Ah! Excellent! The banjo doing its thing, having plenty of fruits and leaves, and knocking out elephants left and right. This elephant is down. <laughs> They're actually really funny to look at when they sleep. It If it wasn't for, like, the trunk kind of, you know, undulating now and again, I would think he's uh, no longer with us, but he seems to be doing just fine. All right, anytime we see some open spots, like we see over here, we're going to see if we can shove some trees in. That tree is clearly far too large. So let's do some pomegranate trees. Because pomegranates are pretty much loved by all. And I'd like to get them... Let's see. I'd like to get them mixed in with some leaf trees as well. Rhododendrons do fairly well for that purpose. It seems like everyone loves to snack on rhododendrons, and they always provide plenty of leaves and such. And then, of course, there's the banjo, but it's so big, I'm not sure if there's a spot that we can shove this in anywhere. Oh, come on. Come on, big money, no whammies. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to happen. That's fine. We'll, we'll kind of work with what we've got. Cancel that. We'll work with what we've got. We can probably even expand our little bamboo forest over here. Our panda buddy, I'm sure, would not mind. Ooh, actually, I don't even know if we can expand that. All right, that's fine as well. So we're getting pretty tightly packed with all of the plants. So over here, we've got so many trees that we can't fit any others. That means we need to start working on grasses. So we are going to do... Um, you know, our typical grasses, we'll do those joint furs. They seem to work pretty good. Those Himalayan fairy grasses, though, multiply at a very, very excessive rate. And I'm so happy about that. Ah, actually, it looks like... Where are our pandas at over here? It looks like we have pandas over here and no 
No bamboo right on top of them. I don't know. I'll, I'll put some bamboo over here. Put some right about. Well, let's see how far we can move this over. Um, nope. Right about there's as far as over as we can move it. Put down a couple more if we can. Oh, yeah. Right against this shelf here. Excellent. I'd like to get this like as well clustered as possible. Nice. Oh, yeah. And this one, oh, this is kind of like a weird, a weird bamboo chunk, if you will. Eh, let's see if we can get a different, see if we can get a different bamboo piece. I love that you can actually move the camera around. This was such a good feature to have and to add. Okay, I think that they're good for right now. We'll kind of leave those as they are. More Himalayan honeysuckles, though. Because the berries on the Himalayan suckles are enjoyed by... Many, many of our little guys here running around. And I'm so happy to see that everyone is doing pretty darn well. I mean, we we have not had any kind of starving, um, except for that one, that one section of pangolins. And man, I put down all kinds of insects near them. But we haven't had that kind of stuff, look at this, for 103 days. So everyone's doing pretty darn good. I do want to continue. What I want to do here is, let's see, let's fill in a couple more spots just with like joint furs and fairy grasses. And then right away, I want to go ahead and start speeding time up because we're at the point where we have so many Taito coins and our Taito coins are basically like self-fulfilling. They just, they continue, and there's very little to get in their way. What are you? Are you a little peaker or something? Oh, no, I bet you're a Chevrotain. You look really small, though. Oh, you are a Chevrotain. How about ferns? You like ferns, Chevrotain? No, you don't care about ferns. How about some goji? Put down a couple goji plants right over here. I'm not sure how well these gojis multiply, Quite to be quite honest with you. I don't think I've seen them really do too much. At least the single elephant is having a good day, though. He's only seven. Oh, he's one year and seven weeks old. I, I don't know. I don't feel like we have enough stuff down yet to actually be able to satisfy an entire herd of elephant. Well, maybe we do. Maybe we could satisfy one herd of elephants, like, way over here. Because I've got, I've got, like, a whole grove of wood apples on this side and i'm probably going to put down another pollinator over here just because i can <laughs> and i don't see why not i actually do like to have a large amount of pollinators right now and the reason for that is because like if we do put down some pangolins or something like that let me make sure i get everything over here there we go if we put down some pangolins or something they'll have plenty to eat because I, I do notice that if you if you only have like one pollinator and you put down a section of pangolins, they will take down your pollinator pretty quick. And then you'll be sitting there like, where's my pollinator at? Where did they go? Oh, you know what? I've put down like no mushrooms at all. Let's put down like some mushrooms. I think, I don't even know if there's even one section of mushrooms in this whole area that we've made. I want to put these down because a lot of different creatures can snack on these. And they are a good detrius remover. What do we have going on here? A group of mushrooms has low population. Is that like... Oh my god, I just put these guys down. Okay, well, someone likes the mushrooms. I'm not sure who it is. But, oh, the mushrooms actually expand really fast. Look at this. Look at this, guys. 11 mushrooms. 12 mushrooms. You can actually see how quickly they reproduce. Holy cow. Hold on. Is this in the biodex? It doesn't even talk about reproduction. The, decom the decomposition process often produces gases that smell bad to humans. This is a good thing. Most decomposers are microscopic bacteria. On their own, the bacteria play an essential role in breaking down matter to be recycled. In many cases, however, these bacteria would cause a human to become very sick if they were ingested. When you smell groceries that have gone bad, that's your nose telling you it smells like some harmful bacteria is living in this food. We shouldn't eat it. If we go over here to the life cycle, mushrooms reproduce in many ways. Some release spores, which are a bit like seeds, 
though they do not need to be pollinated before they can grow. The mushrooms in your biome do not reproduce at all. Oh, they reproduce all right. They may pop up in different areas within your territory, but if you want mushrooms in another part of your biome, you'll have to buy them and place them there yourself. Okay. So what we're seeing here is, I guess, the, the group of mushrooms can refill itself to 20, but they won't split. The mushrooms in your biodome will live forever if they aren't eaten by an herbivore, and you'll always consume detritus at a constant rate. Be careful. If your biome is producing detritus faster than the mushrooms can consume, your plants and animals will get sick. When a group of mushrooms are arranged in a perfect circle on the ground, it's called a fairy ring. Legends say the, that fairies and other small sprites use mushrooms as chairs during nighttime parties. Yes, far, even fairies can party. This is a fun story, but fairies have nothing to do with the fairy rings. Oh, come on. Maybe they do. You never know. A fairy ring actually occurs when root-like parts called, oh man, mycelium are sent in all directions from a central location underground. The roots all stop growing when they reach a certain length, which creates an underground shape that looks a bit like a wagon wheel. New mushrooms grow from the ends, creating a fairy wing or a fairy ring. <laughs> Ah, fairy wing. Well, I guess fairies do have wings, so that does make at least a little bit of sense. More mushrooms, though. More mushrooms is the plan. We do not have enough mushrooms, and I am 100% prepared to take responsibility for this failure and create mushrooms in all parts of our biome. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yeah. Now we, we are getting mushrooms down left and right. And, you know, mushrooms are so cost-effective that it's really something I should have done more of. The the earthworms and the stag beetles are insects, so really they're only good for insectivores. But these mushrooms, like any herbivore will eat these, and there's a lot more herbivores than there are insectivores. And you can see right now, a group of mushrooms has low population again. But what are the chances that this group of mushrooms can get beat down to nothing almost zero because of how fast they regroup okay so mushrooms for the win good to know from now on another group of picas has split what do we got going on here another group of picas has split and another group of mushrooms is actually low population but they recover so quickly i'm not worried about it let's go down here and what do i want to do i'm going to put down one more group of mushrooms kind of like over here as we start working on this way and because we do have some chevrotains over here and we have this group of marmots. Have these chevrotains had any juveniles? Oh, holy cow. Our chevrotain population over here is like maxed out. That's awesome. Okay, so the chevrotains are doing fantastic, actually. How's our stag beetles doing? 50 of 50. So I'm not worried about those guys at all. Let's put down some more shrubs and stuff because we really don't have any plant life. And oh, before I get ahead of myself, the very first thing I want to put down are more trees as well. I want to get down these trees. And then once we, I would say like, we'll cut off right about here, put down one or two more trees. We're going to cut off and then we will start. Ooh, thank you for the Taito coins. And then we will start fast forwarding and getting things moved along. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and buy a little bit of energy so we can do this right away. There's no point in just waiting around. Pomegranate tree, rhododendron, and at the very least... At the very least, you know what? We're going to buy a ton of wood apples. We are going to wood apple it up in the city. Well, not really in the city. I guess we're like way far from anything that could possibly be considered a city. I don't know if we have a pollinator over here. Actually, I don't think we do. So we are going to wood apple this area up and create a luscious, luscious wood apple grove. There we go. And then... We are going to put down a pollinator because we have none, and that makes me sad. So let's go over here to the green hawk moth. He seems like a good guy. We'll, we'll put one right about here. There we go. And, man, people love those mushrooms. I am so glad I put those down. We'll put one of those down right there, and we'll put down a Paris butterfly right about here. There we go. That should get everything. Oh, yeah. There we go. Everything's looking good. Okay. Everything's looking good. We are set. Let's go ahead and cancel this. Let's get off of this. And let us start 
moving things right along. Um, let's see here. Our zones are... Okay, we are growing in three zones right now. Let... Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Oh, here we go. That's where it is. Let us go ahead and fast forward three months. Time skip. Here we go. Green hawk moth in the wild. Green hawk moths migrate to Europe for the summer. Well, I guess it makes sense. All right, we, I'm hearing a lot of ding-dings. We're hurting big cats. All right, we've got 230-some-odd title coins, which is lovely. What is going on? Okay, it's all mushrooms. Oh, a group of chevrotains has split. It's all just mushrooms. Nice. Okay, so that's fine. A group of pikas has split. Holy cow, our pikas are like going ballistic but that's what i like to see i'm not sure which group of chevrotains would have split how are our plants looking 64 days until they're pollinated so it does need to be a little bit further let us continue putting down i want to put down something over here what do i want to put down i don't think like a mont jack or anything let's put down a musk deer over here right in the right in the middle right here they are surrounded by so many plants they're gonna really enjoy that so i'm not worried about it i think i'd like to put down i think i'd like to put down what what, what else do i want to put down how about a marmot we'll put down a marmot right over here as well what do we have going on what do we have happening on the... Oh, I've got to scroll all the way back up. Now, this is one thing I would say. We probably need a slider over here. That would really help if there was a slider. Because eventually in the game, when you start... When you start... Um, you know, fast forwarding, you can get 30 or so changes. You can get 30 or so updates. Or 60 even, I think we may have gotten. And it takes a while to go through them all. One thing I want to do as we've gotten down all these different trees is I don't think we have enough grasses over here. So let's make sure that we can put down enough of those, a little fairy grass, a little poppies. Um, and then you can see, oh, over here, actually, this balsam doing very well. Our grasses have really expanded over there. Holy cow. Those grasses are like moving right along. Okay. So if we can, can we? Mm, I'd, I'd really like to do one more time skip, but I'm not allowed to quite yet. It's gonna take one more day. Oh, actually, I think I can. I just have to pay a bigger price. And it only takes one more day. And I think time moves pretty fast, so maybe we'll let that go. I'll put down a couple of joint furs while we're waiting. Oh, we have a lot of energy, or not just energy. We have a lot of energy right now that we can use and i'd really like to get my my best maximum benefit from it for putting down a lot of things that cost a lot what's funny is the banjokes provide so much but they don't seem to cost very much i'm kind of impressed by that more wood apples let's get this orchard growing so that we can definitely have a awesome herd of elephants over here and that's what i would really like to see is being able to see a herd of elephants split so we've gotten chevrotain splitting we've gotten pika splitting man these chevrotains are like blowing up what i'd really like to see though okay now we can fast forward again let's do it see how everything looks marmot it is believed that the word marmot originates from the latin word musmonti meaning mountain mouse all right, mouse of the mountains. It's like mountain giants. They're bigger and more powerful than their average mouse brethren. And I think they are. They certainly look pretty, pretty chubby. 100% for our animal, for our animal health. That is cool. And not only that, 95% for everything else. Oh, a group of chevrotains has died. Oh, they're starving. Where, well, where are they starving at? We need to figure that out. Group of pikas are splitting like crazy and mushrooms are doing all kinds of cool things. So let's go ahead real quick and find out where these sad chevrotains are because I can't imagine where they would be starving at. How's the plant life doing over here? Looking real good. Looking real good. 
You guys are clearly having fun with these mushrooms, I'll tell you that. Wow, this banjo is really getting getting eat up too. Chevrotain's over there looking pretty happy. Looking like it's no big deal. This poor single elephant, he's still he's still around. I don't know how long elephants live. But alright, I guess either the Chevrotains fixed it or it died and now we can't view it. This is like that one instance. Okay, it did die, so we didn't get to see it. So it was probably just this last group of Chevrotains. And I'm not sure where they would have died from, because we've got two groups down here, but they are surrounded by plants and stuff. So let's go ahead real fast. I think we can go over here, go over to the graphic options. Let's see if I can find out exactly where this is. Maybe it's in the gameplay options. Oh yeah, let's turn off these territory markers real quick. And let's go and like kind of just zoom through our area here. I know I always like to take a look at our different creatures and stuff. We'll back out a little bit here. And just take a look at what's going on. Now, if you click on these guys. Ooh, oh, wow. The cedar popped out of nowhere. Where did that cedar come from? Oh, it's like I'm trying to make a cedar. I don't want to make a cedar. I just want to click on some guys here. Hello, little marmot. How are you doing? Giving me a little tweet. Can actually shove some extra plants on this section. Oh, that's the edge of our area. Okay, so we're doing fine over there. Let's continue moving through. Oh, the little Chevrotain. Come here, little Chevrotain. I want to see you. There we go. Galloping through our forests. Plenty of population going on. Oh, wow, look at the poppies. Oh, 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 oh. oh, wow. That is cool. Oh, there's poppies everywhere. And man, they look good. Yeah, oh wow, it's like a sea of blue. That is so cool, the rhododendrons are flowering amazingly. Actually, this side of the forest is the side that looks a little barren, but we are we do have these poppies kind of growing in, which is good. And we're, we're moving right along here. I think we have a hippo, or not a hippo. I think we, although I will say a hippo would be cool. I think we have a rhino over here and let's turn back on the markers just real fast because I'm trying to find out how is our hippo doing? Oh, it's had one juvenile. All right. So maybe we can get these hippos to fill out completely. Oh, the banjo got its leaves back. Nice. All right. Yeah, we're doing good. All right, guys. Hope you're enjoying Toto Ecology. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.